Don Rowe was once a very respected man, but not anymore. The former head of the RSL has now been referred to police for his extravagant use of expenses. We also learned today that if convicted, he'll be stripped of his Order of Australia medal. Already disgraced and facing a police investigation, now former state RSL president Don Rowe has been threatened with the loss of a national honour. If he is convicted, I'll be writing to the Governor-General asking him uh, to uh, return the Order of Australia. After a new report accused Don Rowe of reprehensible conduct, racking up a bill of over $460,000 on his RSL credit card, matters referred to police. He used it as his personal plaything. It was disgraceful behaviour. Behaviour that exposed what the report calls a toxic culture in the state RSL and its key charity arms. Rowe and 18 others, including former directors, have been referred to authorities, including ASIC. An old guard, the report says, engaged in cover-up, cronyism and ineptitude, taking RSL organisations to the brink of destruction. We have lost our way in the last decade and our leadership at times has been rotten to the core. With a stained reputation, an apologetic RSL says it needs to win back public trust, starting with its annual fundraising effort this Anzac Day. For the first time ever, it will be on behalf of another charity. Our 40,000 members will be on the streets of this state raising money for the 2018 Invictus Games. As the state government considers legal avenues to recover the money the RSL allowed to fritter away. Chris Mar, 7 News.